that nomadic uh, male lion that we released a few months ago. He's been doing really well. He has moved up into the northern parts of the game reserve. Good morning everyone, welcome back to your favourite wildlife destination, Shamwari Private Game Reserve. My name is Andrew, it's a pleasure to be with you again. So we're out and about, there's been uh, just a, a massive amount of requests for us to do an update on uh, that nomadic uh, male lion that we released a few months ago. He's been doing really well, he has moved up into the northern parts of the game reserve been operating up there for quite a while so we've made our way up north we, uh, we're still making our way up north and we're hopefully gonna see if we can track him down and uh, be able to give you an update well, there we go guys after a lot of searching a lot of driving around Finally got our guy. It's late morning now and he's found himself a little bit of shade. I think uh, before it gets too hot right in the middle of the day, uh, he, will, he will move deeper into some shade, but for now he's fine. We're not far from water. There's a watering hole down over there and we know from previous episodes and typical lion behavior is this uh, ability to to hunt close to watering holes gives them such a high success rate and uh, this guy being by himself although not far from a northern pride of lions is uh, giving himself a good advantage by being at this watering hole here and from just driving up here he looks in magnificent condition I don't see a kill or anything like that. I don't see any activity. We haven't seen anything that would uh, allude to the, that he is on a kill, but he does look like he's got quite a full stomach. So possibly within the last few days would have made a kill uh, of sorts, whether it be a warthog or an impala or something uh, in this area. If you've watched some of our earlier episodes, you will know that uh, this nomadic male, as he's now known, was released uh, in the north of the, the game reserve. Uh, probably probably about 10 kilometers from where we are right now um, and he spent a few days up in the Northern Territory those days went into weeks and then he started moving around the greater part of the reserve and he went all the way down south and he spent quite a bit of time in the south of the reserve and there were some interactions with the southern pride of lions uh, while he was in the north through the center and then into the south he would have picked up on all the other uh, scent markings and vocalizations from the different prides of lions on the reserve uh, and, and in doing that he would have been able to establish knowledge of the different prides of lions uh, and indeed different predators that are in this area and he would have had to figure out the lay of the land who's where uh, and where he can go where he can access uh, and again coming back to competition where is he going to fit in where either he's able to take over a pride for himself or he needs to be careful because if there is too much competition he would just be pushed out or indeed uh, put into a, a territorial fight if he did want to take over uh, a pride that uh, he just might not have been able to win. He spent a few months down in the southern part of the reserve uh, again kind of milling around in that area and then uh, probably about two months ago he moved north um, and since then he stayed north uh, he's interacted with the Northern Pride on quite a number of occasions um, and from the reports that we had last night and this morning uh, we have a pride of lions that are very very close to one of our northern lodges uh, just down the road over there uh, which is how we actually ended up finding this guy so I don't think it's going to be too much longer before this guy assimilates himself into a pride he won't be a loner forever the longer he's in the area with uh, those lions getting familiar with him and him getting familiar with their movements um, eventually without too much without too much fighting I don't think uh, he'll assimilate into the pride there isn't a territorial male at the moment uh, that is in control of this northern pride there are some youngsters but this guy is I mean he's absolutely magnificent and he's of that size and age where uh, a challenge from one of those young guys 
uh, you'd be able to manage that easily. Well, there we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed a quick update of our northern nomadic male. Hopefully uh, soon he'll be well on his way to being a pride male, uh, part of this northern pride. But for now, we'll keep you updated of any changes and uh, any exciting stuff that he does do. Until then, enjoy, stay safe. We'll see you soon.